I'm going to show you how to set up Jenkins on GKE in this video. To do that, we're going to just go through these Google Docs right here, setting up Jenkins on Kubernetes or Google Kubernetes Engine. Here are the steps. First, we're going to create a GKE cluster. Then we're going to install Jenkins via Helm. And this is a really uh, easy and basic way to kind of get started in Jenkins. Um, if you want more control over uh, Jenkins, you might want to actually install it more directly than what the Helm package provides. Then uh, we're going to connect the Jenkins to make sure all works. Here's the first documentation about cost right here and preparing environment. Here it talks about using the Cloud Shell. I'm not going to be using Cloud Shell. I'm just going to use my terminal, which already has the gcloud command installed. I do have to uh, grab this repo right here, so I'm going to grab that and get started. Clone that down, CD into it. Okay. Uh, so I already CD into it. Now I'm going to create the GKE cluster. So I'm just going to uh, run this command right here. Uh, before I run the command, why don't I kind of list the clusters so you see that I have no clusters yet. So I have no clusters on this uh, Google project. And now I'm going to create this cluster uh, with the same arguments right here. So uh, notice I kind of have all this other stuff, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, that's only if you have like a non-default network. Um, for this, I'm just going to actually use the regular default network. Uh, and I'm going to just follow the instructions. If uh, on your Google project, you've deleted the default network, then you're going to have to specify the network settings as you kind of saw in that uh, autocompleted command. But I'm just using the default network right here. Okay, so it's creating the J Jenkins uh, cluster right now. To uh, view this, I'm gonna actually just go look at uh, Google Cloud. So that'd be a council, council.cloud, Google here. And let's take a look at um, GKE, so Kubernetes cluster. And we're gonna see this cluster starting to create. We're gonna see the placeholder now there. Uh, is You see a lot of like, uh, status spinning icon status because the cluster is being created so it's going to create the cluster the control plane or the master and then after that it's going to create the node pool and then it's going to the node pool is going to provide capacity so this whole process it, it's going to finish in probably about 10 minutes or so so i'm going to pause so y'all don't have to wait okay so the cluster finished completing it finished actually a lot faster in 10 minutes it took maybe about six minutes or so uh you can tell by refreshing this uh here you can see that the, the nodes are available now. There's some details here. It doesn't show kind of um, creating anymore. And this uh, right here. Uh, you can also tell uh, by looking at uh, here, the command that we originally ran, the uh, create command has returned. It tells you three kind of running nodes. Now to connect to the cluster, uh, we're gonna go to the cluster in the console here and click this connect button. Then that's gonna give you this copy and paste uh, snippet and you just run that. And that basically connects to your cluster. So now I can go uh, Q control uh, cluster info, and that's going to give me information about the cluster there. There we go. I also like to do Q control get uh, node so that you can see how many nodes are running. There, so there are three nodes running. So this is going to be used for later when we configure Jenkins and all that, uh, the control plane. But uh, uh, basically, the GK cluster is up and running. So that's good. That's a uh, first step. Okay. Next step is actually installing Jenkins, okay? So to install Jenkins, uh, let's see, talking about control. Oh, we do have to actually configure this uh, cluster role binding. So then uh, this account has complete admin access to it. Okay, so to do that, uh, I'm gonna actually take these commands piece by piece so you can kind of see what it's doing. You see uh, gcloud config get value account. That's just showing my uh, my email for the account. So that's what that's doing. It's basically in the user email. This command cluster role binding create uh, admin binding is going to give uh, this email uh, admin permission, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. So now I have that uh, cluster row binding uh, RBAC created. And uh, that's good because that's going to give me uh, full admin access to the cluster. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Okay, now installing Jenkins. So install Jenkins, you do need to have Helm install, okay? And then you add this repo, okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm at the Helm repo, Jenkins CI, uh, uh, Jenkins CI. It already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and update it here also. So now it's uh, also has updated, so that's good. I've got the latest uh, Jenkins chart. And now I run this Helm command to install it. Now I notice this dash F Jenkins value, then Jenkins, uh, this is the name. Um, and then uh, the weight, okay? So the values, we need to make sure that we're in this values folder. So right here are, is the basically Helm values. So we have to be right there, we're under Jenkins, so Jenkins values, so we're good, okay? So let's go ahead and run this command now. Okay. And that should start installing uh, Jenkins right now um, as uh, from the Helm package. I'm open a new terminal. Let's put this side by side and do git uh, cube git pod. Okay. So it's right now there's kind of there. 
So this pod is uh, starting to get installed because this Helm installs TD Jenkins here. It basically installs this pod and installs uh, a, a services too, okay? And I'm just doing everything in the default namespace. Uh, again, I'm just sticking to basics here just because we just want to um, get this Jenkins cluster up and something to play with. Uh, but you might want to isolate this in its own kind of Jenkins namespace, which is a little more proper. Okay, uh, you see these two services here, CD Jenkins. This is essentially the master right here, and that's listed in port 80. Um, and then this is the agent. This is the this is the agent that listens port uh, 5000 for like kind of internal communication. Okay, um, the Helm package does take a little bit of time to install here, so you're still kind of going. Uh, so I'm going to pause so y'all don't have to wait. Okay, the Helm package finished installing Jenkins, and, and then it spits out some informative information here, uh, including your admin password and all that. Now, here's the interesting thing. When I kind of uh, noticed when I installed this, uh, it, there's actually no admin protection. Uh, so this is, I guess, when you visit via localhost, which I'm about to do. I just want to show you also a cube git pod, and you can see 2i2 running. One of them is like the Jenkins pod. Uh, it's the master, essentially, and the other one's like a config reloader pod. So uh, I'm guessing that's just a sidecar that uh, helps reload the configurations. And here are the kind of services with the master and then the agent for kind of communication. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, port forwarding, which is including these instructions here. So let's go over here, back to the Jenkins. It says get pods. We did that already. We verified that 2i2 are running. We did also get service, and we kind of saw the same output. Now, connecting Jenkins, the first thing you got to do is grab the pod name. So you could do, you could actually just forward the service too, but I'm just doing it for instructions here. Okay, so by running that, basically grabs the pod name. So let's echo the pod name so we see what that's about. Say CD Jenkins zero. Okay, so that's all it's really doing. It's just grabbing the pod name. It's that long expression to grab the pod name. And then here is basically in the port forward and it's going to, kind of uh, put all standard error and standard output to dev null and then kind of put, throw in the background. I'm not gonna throw in the background, I'm actually gonna throw in the foreground so we can kind of see in action. So I'm forwarding uh, the pod now from 880, okay, to 880. Now I am on a kind of remote machine here via cloud nine. So uh, I actually, when I open up my browser, I, I can't hit that directly because this is essentially like an EC2 machine. So what I actually kind of do is I do an additional trick and I'll kind of show you from my Mac OS 10 machine uh, I'm actually for the port and just go into my Cloud9 box like that. So I'm doing another port forwarding here. Now, if you're running the Kubernetes cluster locally in your machine, you don't have to do this extra port forwarding. If you're running like uh, this cube control commands right here on an EC2 uh, machine or a tools box, then you kind of have to do the same thing I'm doing here, okay? So uh, so now that I'm kind of forwarding both ways, I can go localhost 8080, and that's going to give me Jenkins, okay? So it's just loading up Jenkins right now. And there, there's a brand new Jenkins dashboard. There's no authentication or anything. This is what I noticed, at least kind of setting this up. And uh, so Jenkins is essentially working now. We've uh, completely installed it. Um, so this next next step right here is clean up. And then to clean up, all we do is we delete the entire cluster. And then that's going to delete the Helm and, you know, package that was installed and everything. So that's how you kind of clean up. But uh, I'm going to leave this actually up and running. So I, I could kind of uh, make it some, uh, a couple additional videos on how to kind of configure everything. OK. OK. So uh, last thing I want to say is the probably next video I'm going to do is it says right here that Jenkins installation is using the Kubernetes plugin uh, to uh, create builder agents. So instead of using like uh, traditional uh, VMs, it's using pods to actually um, to process the workloads. So the plugin is installed, but it's not configured. So the next video, I'll show you how to configure it. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Cheers.